Hey, I'm Andrea, and in this video, we're going to talk about Red Sox pitcher Tanner Houck. Houck's got a low three-quarter slot, almost sidearm. Uh, he throws four pitches, sinker, slider, and four seam and splitter. And I like that combination because the sinker and the slider are moving in the east-west plane, and the four seam and the splitter are moving in the north-south plane. Houck's had a really great couple of years. His strikeouts actually dipped from 2021 to 2022, but he's getting more ground balls now. And here's why I think he'll continue to have the same success this season. So first, let's look at him versus right-handed hitters. So versus righties, he's primarily sinker slider, so he's moving in that east-west plane. He throws them around the same amount, which is about 40%. That sinker is harder than average at 94 miles per hour, and it gets plus sink and slightly above average run. It also gets great results. So a sinker is traditionally a ground ball pitch, and he's getting a lot more ground balls on it than average, but then he's also getting a high chase rate and a high in-zone miss rate, which is, which is fantastic. The only thing is that Hauk throws his pitch in zone 11% less than average, but I don't think this is a huge red flag as long as he's still getting that chase on the pitch. But it might signal some command issues with this pitch in particular. So he's also throwing that slider about the same amount as a sinker. It gets above average sweeps, slightly above average depth, and is thrown slightly harder than average at 85 miles per hour. So looking at the results for this pitch, the slider isn't generating as much swing and miss as a sinker, but it's also not resulting in damage. And then he's also mixing in this four seam, which is his weakest offering versus right-handed hitters. It gets well below average ride. But what I do like about it is that since the sinker and the slider are primarily moving horizontally, so in that east-west plane, the four seam gives hitters something else to look for because it's moving towards the top of the zone in the north-south plane. So even though the results of this pitch aren't as good as we saw for the sinker and the slider, it's still not bad. It's just closer to average. So now let's look at Hauk when he faces left-handed hitters, and his pitch mix is going to change dramatically here. So now he's using that slider as his primary pitch 41% of the time, and it's similar to the slider's results versus right-handed hitters. He's using it as a ground ball pitch, and it's getting 50% ground balls, which is 8% higher than MLB average. Then he's going to use his four seam 33% of the time as his primary fastball versus lefties. The four seam gets way more ground balls than average. It also doesn't get as much chase and end zone miss, but again, that's not a huge deal as long as he continues to get that weak contact and those ground balls on it. So now he's mixing in that fourth pitch, which is a splitter, and he throws that 14% of the time versus lefties. This is his weakest offering. It gets worse chase than average, only average end zone miss. And then in addition to the stats in this table, it's, it also gets hit hard with an average exit VO of 92 against. And then just like he's like sprinkling in that four seam versus right-handed hitters, he's sprinkling in his sinker versus left-handed hitters. The sinker gets 75% ground balls, uh, which is 20% higher than average. The catch here is that it also has a tendency to be hit hard. And then similar to how we spoke about his command of the sinker versus righties, he's not throwing this pitch as often as you'd like in zone uh, versus lefties. He's throwing it in zone 36% of the time, which is 13% lower than average. So that backs up that theory that we have a little bit that he might have some trouble commanding this pitch. But again, like as long as the results stay above average, which they are, it's not a huge deal. He's able to overcome it. So can Hauk be a starter again? Even though he started in the past, it looks like he's going to start the year in the Red Sox bullpen. I think he has the potential to be a middle of the rotation starter. And I think that's because he has three above average pitches and he's able to effectively use them to face both hands. His walk rate the past two seasons has also been very close to average. And to me, that means he has the control needed to start games. What do you think of Tanner Houck? If you like this video, please hit subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Scalpel Report. Thanks for watching.